In this video, we'll write the electron configuration for Sb, that's antimony. The first thing to note is that antimony, this is a neutral element. There's no negative or positive after it, so it's a neutral element. And the number of protons here, the atomic number, that's going to equal the number of electrons. Now, all of the elements on the periodic table are listed as neutral. So 51. So we'll distribute 51 of these electrons in the electron configuration for Sb. So I've written that up here. This is our electron configuration. We could write this as a condensed electron configuration. That might make it a little easier. So here's Sb. And what we'll do is we'll go to the noble gas before it. So this is 51. We go back in 36 Kr. So if we put in brackets all the electrons for Kr, 36 electrons, that would be right here. So now we could just write Kr and put this after it. So here's the condensed electron configuration for Sb, for antimony. There are two ways that we can figure out how to write this. The first way is to look at the periodic table broken up into orbital blocks. So all of these end in S1, these end in S2. We have our D1 through 10, and then P. P can hold up to 6, so we have P1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we're going to end after krypton. 5s2, 4d10, and then p123. 4d10, 5s2, 5p3. So just by looking at the periodic table and knowing this pattern, we know it's got to end in 5p3. Another way to do that would be to look at the diagonal rule here. So we have our chart here. We just follow this along, 1s2, 2s2, all the way until we've used 51 of those electrons, and that takes us to 5p3, which is the same thing we would find here. So those are two ways to figure out the electron configuration for Sb antimony. Both ways produce the same results. Do note, sometimes you'll see the 5s2 written before the 4d10. This is Dr. B with the electron configuration for Sb antimony. Thanks for watching.